everybody and welcome back to another episode of my sims in bloom series i have just loaded into the save and immediately flora has unlocked a new personality trait flora has been feeling really cheerful lately things are going well and flora doesn't have a care in the world embrace the change originally i was going to say no because i don't think she deserves to have a nice personality trait however Things are going really well and Flora doesn't have a care in the world. I feel like this fits our story so perfectly. So I'm actually going to accept this change now. And she is now a cheerful sim. This morning we are just at Poppy's place still. This is where we ended things in the last episode and Flora is still here. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon and she's kind of spent the day just hanging out with her sister, hanging out with Poppy. Seems like Poppy has just left. I'm actually going to decline this job offer. Oh, she is back. Wonderful. Hey mom, I really wanted to show you guys poppy's new makeover before we did head home today so here she is i hope she opens her eyes she's gonna walk around like that okay okay here she is so this is poppy's like elderly appearance i didn't want to give her gray hair straight away because i just feel like it's too soon like she's probably in her like 50s at this point so she's not that old she's just starting to gray a little bit and I don't know. I think she looks really beautiful still. Um, what is happening? Okay, Trevor's just come in and what? It's happening. Trevor Young is so utterly smitten with Flora that he is proposing marriage. Okay, this is a really <laughs> awkward spot to be doing this. You were like in your family home. This is a secret relationship. Why have you just proposed marriage like right in front of our family? I have to think about this. Okay, I've decided we are going to say yes. But I don't think he should have done this in front of our family. And I think we're going to pretend that he didn't do this in front of our family. I think maybe we should head out with him somewhere and have a conversation because I just don't see him randomly like coming to our place. Like this feels really weird. So let's grab Trevor and I think maybe we'll just like go back to his house instead. They are just going to hug it out. Okay. At least there was no kisses. So it's not weird. We are now back at Trevor's place and I think we can probably come in and take a seat together. Did you guys want to come and nap together on the couch? Trevor obviously just asked Flora a very important and unexpected question. Um, however, I feel like things have kind of been leaning towards this way for a little bit. These guys have spent the last couple of like sim weeks, months in a relationship together. And maybe for Trevor, he kind of wants Flora to make more of a promise to him at this stage. We're gonna pretend that he didn't do it at Poppy's place. I'm gonna pretend that he like just asked Flora to come around. And I think he probably wants to just get some more commitment out of her. Like he knows that she's in a relationship with her husband. He knows that she does not want to be with Juan anymore, but she doesn't really have much of a choice just from financial issues and everything. But he really wants to just get more of a commitment from her. So I think maybe instead of like a proposal, we can say this is like maybe like a promise ring or something because technically she is still married. I think like actually proposing to her, it might not have been like the best idea. I'm actually gonna control him in my household for a moment and have him discuss marriage with Flora. I think that he really wants to know that this relationship is gonna go somewhere because obviously it just started off as like a bit of a fling, but as time has passed and more time they're spending together, he really does see a future with her. So, ooh, that was negative. So I think she's like, Trevor, I honestly, like, I would love to marry you, but I'm already married and I feel like just accepting this proposal from you now is enough and I don't think that we need to jump in and actually, like, get married right now because legally, one, I can't. And maybe he's like, yeah, the romance festival's on. We could just go and get married, like, right this second. Like, what do you think? Just, just you know, go home, talk to one, make it official, like, just tell him you want to separate and then let's go get married right now. Like heat of the moment. Let's do it. She's not happy with that. She doesn't want that. She's like, look, you know my situation. Um, so I think maybe her way of like committing to him is accepting his like promise ring proposal situation. <laughs> he just threw in our face randomly. Um, so maybe she is promising him like, I look, I don't want to be with you. I do see my future with you. I would love to get married to you. Some random guys asking us out. No. Um, but at this but unfortunately at this stage, I don't want to jump from one relationship to another right away. Plus, I don't feel like I can divorce one right now. We've got too many things 
to sort out before I can even think about doing that. We've got the kids, we've got the house. It's just not happening. She's like, give me some time. She's actually gonna come over now and talk about her relationship fears. She's like, look, I really want to be with you and I really do wanna get married to you one day, but it can't be right now. There's just too many things in the way. And he's like, I can totally understand that. He's like, I'm really sorry for trying to jump the gun. I just, he's like, I really hate that you you go home and see Juan every day and that you can't be here with me. At this point, their relationship is getting really serious. I mean, I literally accepted his engagement, lol. <laughs> Anyway, so we kind of had to make that work in the moment. I wasn't really expecting him to do that, but I felt like she would say yes. So I wanted to say yes. But right now it is more of like a promise that she is going to stick to her word. She is going to divorce Juan very shortly. And she is going to promise herself to Trevor and spend time with him. I think they're actually posing a woohoo right now, maybe. Nope, they're just chatting. Well, we'll just spend a little bit of time at his place, but we do have to head home fairly soon, I think. Or does she need to? Technically, she does have a gig well, it's tomorrow, so she could spend the night here, I guess. Um, but I don't really want to spend any more time with Flora and Trevor right now. I feel like the last couple of episodes have been really full on with them. So I'm actually going to let her be for a little bit. She can stay here and I'm going to head home. Okay, we're back in the household and we have a little Lotus over here playing <laughs> in his little toy car. He is absolutely adorable. These kids ha looks like they've been at Scouts today and they're in their little uniforms. I think it's adorable. Little Leaf is downstairs. Actually might get him to come and resume gardening. I think he was making some gardening artwork. Yeah, he can come and do this. So it's just these two that are home today. I wonder if we can actually invite some friends over or something because we haven't really spent a lot of time with some friends. We did get along with these two kids last time, but aside from that, I think everyone that we knew has aged up into a teen now. Both Lotus and Leaf still have a little while until they age up into a teen. They're about halfway through their kid life at the moment, which honestly, I'm really surprised how quickly the time has gone. Might get these kids both off to the park this afternoon, see if we can meet some more friends. I can actually see someone riding a bike over here. I think this must be an adult though. Is there a little park near our house? Honestly, I think we just have this little bench area and nothing too crazy. I'm gonna travel with them for now and see if we can go over to a park. All right, here we are. We're out of the park and we've brought our little puppy Bailey with us. The kids, I think they're just gonna come and play. I hope some other kids show up because I really do want these kids to make some more friends, especially because they haven't been spending a lot of time with their parents. So I can imagine they're feeling quite lonely. Luckily, they're both pretty positive. They do realize that something is going on between their parents, as we saw a couple episodes ago, especially Lotus. He does feel just really sick to his stomach about everything that's going on and he feels really sad about it. But he is such a positive little boy that I think he really just wants to make things work and make friends and just have a really good time. So I'm gonna have them both just meet like as many kids as we can today. I really, really, really want them to form some relationships with people that they can maybe lean on a little bit. So we have little Rashad here um, and he's in a sad mood as well. Gosh, do you wanna come and play with us over here? We can come play Space Explorer together and we'll see who else kind of shows up. I also love how we brought our dog Bailey here. <laughs> These kids love this little man so much. Look at him. How could you not? He is too cute. I love that we adopt strays in this series. Oh, he's come over to play with little, who is this, Leaf? Leaf, can you give your puppy a little treat? And I think we can maybe like roughhouse with him a little bit too. Lotus is still chatting with these adults here. He is definitely the social one out of these two boys, I've noticed. I feel like he has a lot more emotion compared to Leaf. Leaf seems quite just okay with everything and he kind of just he seems to me more like a, a bit of a kid you know what I mean he's like a bit oblivious to what's going on and he just wants to have fun he loves his dog like he's just having a good time whereas I feel like Lotus over here is a bit more sensitive he understands people a little bit more he can you know understand feelings and see where people are coming from and I kind of love that for him which is why I did say a couple episodes ago that I could really see Otis not Otis, <laughs> Lotus being the heir, but I just don't know if he's going to be too old by the time we finish Flora's Gen, so we'll definitely see. Juan is still at work. It's literally almost 10 o'clock. He is still at work. I think he comes home at 11, 
So I can just imagine these kids are just at this park. It is local, it is in our world, but I can imagine they'll just stay here until he gets home. I think I want them to come over and just, you know, um, I feel like Lotus would hug the Bluffy and I feel like Leaf would just stay outside and just keep doing what he's doing. I'm really hoping some more kids show up, but I'm just not sure at this stage if they will. Oh, he's giving his puppy a little, little, like, smoochy and a pat. This is so cute. Oh, he's feeling great. He is feeling really, really good. I do like that. He is in a happy mood at the moment from just playing. But he is so tired and he's actually fallen asleep over here on the fountain. He's literally just waiting for his dad to come pick him up and he has fallen asleep. I think we'll toss a coin in this fountain and just make a wish. He did hear that when you toss a coin in a fountain and make a wish, it generally will come true. So I think he is just wishing that his parents are going to have... A good marriage and he is just like i look i really hope that my parents stop fighting i hope that mom and dad just get back together and things go back to how they used to be he's just really sad and kind of hates the life he's living now even though he's kind of accepted that this is just how things are he does really really you know just want the future to be bright and want his friends and wants his parents just to be in love again it's now 11 so juan is actually going to come and pick up the kids from school and we're also going to not school <laughs> from the park i'm going to bring bear as well here he is little bears here he's in his jammies um i'm assuming juan's probably picked him up from daycare on the way and now he's come over to get the kids so he's like hey you guys still here here he is he's coming over he is extremely sad and extremely tired after the day he's had but after seeing his kids and just knowing that he's making this money to give them a better life he's feeling immediately more confident he's like how are you guys doing He's like, look, instead of going home straight away, how about we get some ice cream and we just hang out for a little bit. Your little brother's over there. We could just spend a little bit of time at the fountain and, well, they got a sentiment, which is cute. Just going to come over and play for a little bit longer before we head home. This is not something Juan would usually do, but I think coming here and just seeing how exhausted his kids are, he really wants them just to feel a little bit happier. So he's jumping in the fountain. Um, he's being a bit of a silly goose and he's kicking some water at Lotus over here. I think he really just wants to cheer him up after seeing how sad he's been the last couple days. And Lotus is just like, hey, dad, I wanted to ask you, um, is mom going to be home tonight? And Juan's like, look, buddy, unfortunately, I don't think so. Your mom, she's busy out um, making some money for work. He's like, come sit down. He's like, I know things have been a little bit hard for you lately. Oh, supportive. I love this. So Juan is like, you know what, buddy? I know your mom's been away a lot lately and it is making you really sad. But she is just doing what she needs to do for her job. This won't be for forever. And Lotus is like, yeah, she just is trying to make, you know, money, right? So we can go to scouts and go to school. One's like, yeah, that's right. Now that dad's working, it should be easier. So mom should be home a little bit more. He's like, oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Um, I don't think he really wants to ask his dad about the separation issues at this stage or what he thinks is going on but I think Juan can tell that like oh god he's like oh god I think Lotus can probably see how Laura and I have been recently he really doesn't want this to affect his kids so he's like all right why don't we get some ice cream um I'll send your mom a text and see oh he's literally texting <laughs> he's like I'll send your mom a text and see if she can call us tonight yeah he's like I know you miss her I'm really sorry um I think he blames himself a little bit because he kind of knows if you know that these financial issues are uh, like Flora's working so hard and she's doing everything she can for their family and Juan just started a job like I think that he maybe blames himself a little bit and he can see it now affecting his kids I'm gonna get Juan to come in and I wanted to make some ice cream oh my god my little buddy over here is so angry Lotus has actually come to sit with him though which I think is really cute let's give him a let's give him a little hug he's like how is your day at daycare little bear <laughs> he's gonna come over and give his brother a little snuggle he's definitely missed him oh that's nice they are actually adorable <laughs> that's so cute leaf you want to come over and just chat with little bear as well i think he will but to me leaf is a more of a, a silly goosey so i think we'll probably i want to like do some silly behaviors make some silly faces at him here he comes. There he is. He's making silly faces at his brother. I don't know how much Bear really appreciates that. Oh, but he thought it was funny. He is cheering him up, which is nice. And Lotus is just watching from a distance and just going, oh, I'm glad that, you know, my brother's are good and all of this. Um, Juan's over here making some ice cream. 
get this done. I wonder why he's sad. Keeping secrets is hard, but seeing the pain in your loved one's eyes is even harder. If only Juan could regain the trust that he lost. Yeah, so he definitely blames himself from Flora being distant from the family. Like, he knows that she said it's the financial issues and that's why she needs to be away and that's why she needs to work so much. But he really thinks that she's also just being distant and choosing to stay at Poppy's house because she's like losing the love she has for him because he obviously was unloyal and flirted with another lady at the park after Flora cheated. Um, I'm going to go and come a serving for beer and then my boys can come over and get one together as well. We'll set a garnish. I'll do some sprinkles. Oh, cute. Set topping. We'll do strawberry sauce and I think Lotus is a bowl kid. Okay, I'm going to come grab a bowl of ice cream and... Leaf is definitely a cone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you staring up your little brother, Leaf? Come on now. So we have a little bear over here eating his ice cream. He's enjoying it. Not a care in the world. Has no idea what is going on. I love him so much. Lotus, on the other hand, he's getting this bowl. He's going to come sit with his brother. He's in a happy mood. I think he's just happy to have these memories with his family. And Leaf, that ice cream is absolutely ginormous. <laughs> so once these boys finish eating up their food, I will send them home for the night because it's three o'clock in the morning I think they oh luckily I was gonna say oh yeah it's Sunday so luckily we do have tomorrow off I think we'll probably just spend the day with the kids again I think maybe Juan will take them out somewhere just have a really good day we do know Flora is gonna be at her gig so I really just want to spend the day with the boys and enjoy it all right I think our ice cream is probably about done so let's just begin to head home then all right here we are we are home for the night i'm gonna have one put a little bear to sleep read him to sleep and i think the boys are gonna head upstairs and get some sleep now as well i will get juan to come and tuck them in momentarily but for now we'll just get some sleep so i think leaf will probably come and just go straight to bed he's just exhausted doesn't care um but i'm gonna have lotus come and actually read under the covers for a little bit He's cleaning up the house. You don't need to do that, all right? It's fine, yeah? Oh, come on, bear. Let's go inside. Flora is actually surprisingly home and she's working out. I wonder if she's come home like early hours of the morning. I have no idea. Juan is like too busy putting his kids to sleep to even like realize that she's in the next room working out. He's just exhausted at this point from like work and just spending time trying to like hold things together. He's just going to read his little boy a book at the moment, which I think is adorable. I actually love this scene so much. They're so cute. Look at that little face. How could you not be obsessed with that little cute face? All right. Good night, my little bud. Get some sleep. We'll go out tomorrow. Okay. We'll tuck him in. There we go. Cute. All right, and then we'll head upstairs and tuck in out all the little boys. So leave over here. He's already just fast asleep. I'm going to come over and just tuck him in. And then we have Lotus over here. <laughs> um, who is reading? What, are we, what did I select? Sleep? No, no, no. Actually going to have Lotus um, stop reading when Juan gets up in the room because he's like, oh, I'm supposed to be asleep. Haha. <laughs> like, oh, hey, dad. I was actually just getting into bed. Don't worry about me. I've been asleep this whole time. So we're just going to tuck in Leaf over here and give him a little kiss on the head and Lotus, he's going to tuck him in as well, but I think he's going to actually come put him like under the covers. He's like, he can probably see his like book lying on the floor and he's just going to like tuck him in to the bed. Oh, he's actually going to pass out. Here he comes. He's come to tuck him in and give him a little kiss. And I think he's just going to say to him like Lotus is, he's not asleep and Juan knows it. And without Lotus even having to ask a question, Juan is just going to say, hey, buddy, I know you're worried about me and your mom, but please don't worry, okay? Everything's going to work out fine, yeah? going to give him a little kiss on the head. They got a little sentiment together. He really appreciates that his dad can just, like, understand how he's feeling without him having to even say anything. And Juan is now going to just come to bed because he is absolutely pooped from the day. He's so tired. He's been such a great dad today. And he's going to come get some sleep. He comes to bed and notices that Flora, obviously, is still not home. Um, I don't think he even realized that she was around, but she is. She's downstairs. I'm surprised she's actually cleaning up the house, <laughs> but she is a neat sim. So even though she probably is a bit disgusted by it, she will still do the cleaning because she wants the house to be nice. Oh, well, my sound stopped working in the sims. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> 
we progress. So yeah, Flora is home and honestly, she's feeling confident but annoyed from feeling furious with someone nearby. If it's not Flora, it's definitely that Sim who broke Flora's heart for no good reason. So she actually is annoyed to be home and see Juan. Okay, so my game crashed, but it's fine. I'm back. <laughs> so Flora is just working out a little bit this morning. The moodlet that she had is actually gone, so we can't really worry about that one at the moment, but essentially she is just not really wanting to be around Juan at the moment. Since Trevor proposed to her, she has decided that she does want to divorce Juan. She just doesn't know how to go about it. I feel like she is not quite ready yet to deal with the mess that comes along with that. So she's just not going to. I'm actually going to get her to come over here and just back float the pool for a little bit. She's got a lot to think about, a lot in her mind that she wants to think about. So she's going to get in the pool and just chillax, I reckon. Once the kids are up today and had enough sleep, they're going to go out with their dad. Um, looks like Leaf is actually already up and he's eating some cake for breakfast buddy that's probably not what you should be having but you can st you can have it you know what it's fine I think we're probably going to eat out today a little bit so I didn't want you having too much junk food for breakfast but that's okay Lotus seems like he's untucked himself from bed again I'm gonna get him to actually have a bit more sleep I'll probably get them to sleep to around nine o'clock and then we can go out which means little buddy you also need to get back into bed apparently these kids just had such a fun night and are a little bit high off sugar that they can't actually get some sleep. Right, everyone's back in bed where they're supposed to be and as we can see Flora is just floating <laughs> her worries away in the pool right now. She is daydreaming about the life that is to come. She is just so smitten and so happy that Trevor has promised herself to her, especially after having those relationship insecurities in the last episode. She really feels like now that He's not seeing anyone else and he really just wants to be with her, which she really appreciates because she is quite a selfish sim that likes to fish for compliments. So having not one, but two men wanting to marry her and be with her is just unreal. She just feels like the most important person in the world. <laughs> that little giggle she's just done. Interesting, Flora. Okay, my love, did you want to come in and get yourself some breakfast this morning? Oh gosh, this house is a mess. Let's come clean this. Let's just do an acai bowl this morning. I'm just going to do a single serving because we don't really care about the other people that are in my house. She's feeling good. She's feeling really happy. She's loving everything. Yeah, the great outdoorsy lifestyle. I actually think she has a indoorsy lifestyle at the moment just because she has been in Trevor's place a lot recently. But I really want her to lose that because I just don't feel like she would have an indoorsy or an outdoorsy lifestyle. I think she is just fine with <laughs> whatever. There she goes. Acai bowl looks freaking good, Flora. I think that this is the same thing she had at Trevor's house. So maybe this is kind of reminding her of him. And she's just smelling the house and she's like, oh, but like diapers and kids mess like great just can't wait to get out of here today put some music on finishing her bowl and i think we will in fact send trevor a little bit of a text message this morning i'm just gonna send him a text and see what he wants to get up to today she does have her gig at uh, 12 p.m which is just in a couple hours so i do want to leave before then so she can just go in and do that herself i was planning to have her invite her co-workers over today but i think that might be a tonight situation or even next episode situation at this point but i think she might do it at poppy's house instead i don't really have an issue doing it here but i think maybe she feels a little bit embarrassed and would rather just do it at her mum's place so she's just texting Trevor, letting him know where she wants to meet him today and i'm gonna actually send her into a little rabbit hole activity with him i think i think we'll just go on a date i wonder if it's gonna oh she can pick who she's taking we're taking Trevor. All right, she's off on a date. Have a good time, Flora. She is gonna leave a little note on the bench and just let Juan know that she's headed off to work for the day. She's like, oh, I'm just gonna hit the gym before I start my appointment. I'm off, bye. And Rue, hey Juan, I've been thinking about getting to know Lacey better. That's perfectly fine. I think Jaleesa is also calling. Ooh, she's heard that we got engaged. <gasps> How did she hear? We're keeping it on the down low. Rhea keeping it on the very, very down low. But if she's heard about it, then who else has heard about it? That's really awkward. All right, we're up for the day. How are we all feeling? Juan's actually feeling really good. I'm gonna get him to use the bathroom really quickly. And then Bobby over here is super hungry. Okay, we'll get you some food and then we'll head out, okay? <laughs> and the high chan give him some food. I think we'll just do some yogurt this morning. We'll pretend it's just some leftovers from what 
floor with eating and both of the kids are feeling really really great today they are definitely ready <laughs> to head out and have some fun I got they're really excited to actually spend the day with their dad I think maybe they're hoping their mom is going to show up at some point but they do know she does have her gig today so she won't be there at least in the beginning oh the festival is youth is on we could actually head there potentially but I actually think I want to do something a little bit different just because it's not great for toddlers oh He's like, all right, you guys, get all your stuff packed. Just gonna feed a little bear and then we'll head out for the day, huh? And I feel like Juan's feeling a lot better today, even though he's still very, very sad. Oh, he is very, very, very sad. <laughs> he's not, he's not feeling his best, but he, I don't know, I don't know, maybe he seems a bit better. Okay, have you kids both got your bikes in your inventory? You do, and you do not. Can I grab your bike from outside? Because we will practice some of this today. Okay, perfect. All right. Let's head off. I decided to come to the same park we were at yesterday just because it is our local park. I feel like it makes the most sense. I don't feel like they're going to travel anywhere too crazy. Plus this time we're all in like much better moods. We can have some popcorn, watch a movie. I feel like it's just going to be a really, really fun time. And I'm really excited for these kids to spend some more time with their grandparents too. I was tempted to go to Solani. So if it gets a little bit boring here, I may end up taking them there for a little bit. But I kind of do want to end back up at the city because I... Juan knows Flora is planning to have her co-workers over tonight and I think that he knows that it possibly might happen at Poppy's house so he may end up wanting to surprise her and actually just meet her there even though the distance is a little bit far. Play monster with you? He's just talking to leave at the moment but I actually want him to come and clean the diaper from little buddy bear over here and also just give him a little bit of a clean up in the sink if we can. I know you're so stinky. Why are you so dirty? I swear your needs were fine when we left the house. Looks like there's a lot more kids showing up today since it's actually daytime. So I want our little buds to come and introduce themselves to as many people as possible. This is Casey over here. I feel like in our Sims game, there are so many kids with red hair. We have like Clint with red hair. Um, Lorena, Cassidy, and now Casey as well. Oh, Joy's actually showed up as well. That's kind of perfect. Maybe she heard Zara on the way out saying that she was going to come and see her grandparents, um, grandchildren. She wanted to come and join. <laughs> Lotus actually doesn't get along very well with Zara, but I think he will come over and give her a respectful introduction to meet her properly. Um, Flora obviously hates Zara, so that she hasn't really had a chance to meet her grandkids at all at this stage, but he's going to do the polite thing and come say hi. Oh my gosh, there's like a little don't wake the llama game too and there's someone over here playing chess i'm actually gonna come and just play with her as well i actually don't know tai lin at all but we'll come say hi howdy introduction she seems like she i really like her hat you know what i mean like it's just really cute i want um Han to make some more friends he has always felt a little bit awkward like talking to other people like he's a really friendly guy but he has always felt really awkward because he did flirt with that lady last time and Flora has not let him live it down so I think he feels just really uncomfortable about making friends now. Oh my god there are so many new kids here and then another redhead kid Christy. I don't know if all these kids are from the same family or not but I think it's really funny that they all have like this bright red hair. Why are you feeling embarrassed to leave? There's something that's happened. He can, oh, he walked on, he walked in on someone. That's really awkward. And okay, I don't think he ended up saying hi to that lady. Um, I think he actually just came into the bathroom and is now giving himself a pep talk because he's feeling so sad. But Juan, you need to cheer up, okay? We'll come over and toss a coin in here. And why don't you come and play some Space Monster once your kids have a go over here on the space machine. All right, everyone's doing their thing over here now. I think Juan's parents actually left, which is really unfortunate. I don't know where they have gone to. Did Maeve leave? Is she still here? Oh, she is still here. I think you should come over and give her a hug. It's been a while since you've seen your mom. Zara definitely left. I saw her leave. But he's like, hey, thanks so much for coming out. It's really nice for that we get to spend some time with the kids now. Um, she is going to finally meet her grandkids that she actually has not met yet. It's it's crazy. I can't believe how long he hasn't seen his family for. And just looking at her, he's like, Ugh. I can't believe my mom is so old now. Like last time I saw her must have been 10, 13, you know, maybe 13 years ago now. And I didn't realize how old she had gotten. So sad. But Maeve is living her best life. She is married to Leah. They have a couple of kids together. So I think that one actually has a couple more siblings. Yeah, he does. He has two siblings, two half siblings, Victor and Kennedy. He's like, I would actually really love to meet my siblings at some point. I'm sorry I've distanced myself from the family for so long. 
and I think she knows that it's really not his fault. She doesn't. He, he, she knows that he doesn't really have too much control in his relationship. So he's gonna ask her for some advice and just talk things over. He's like, I feel like I've really disappointed my family lately. Um, I think he maybe will admit to her that he flirted with someone else. And since then, him and Flora haven't really been on the same page. And he's going to ask her for some advice. Um, I'm also going to ask her to play in the fountain with us because I think that's going to be super cute. Our buddies are all over here playing on their equipment, which is nice. And um, Leaf likes deep conversation. Who are you talking with, though? Oh my gosh, look at everyone playing in the fountain. This is so cute. I think he maybe is meeting Kara Tinker. And I want Lotus to try and have get as many kids as possible to actually play Space Explorer with him. Then I'll invite Carly. Carly, is it? Yeah, Callie. To play Space Explorer. She's just on the monkey bars at the moment. Oh my gosh, Carol, what are you doing here? <laughs> I don't know, look at the park. It's getting like really busy this is really nice everyone seems to be having a really good time as well oh my gosh look at Maeve's flashing they're so cute i'm obsessed oh and zara is over here okay she didn't end up leaving which is nice but i don't think my kids went and probably met her yet she's thinking really hard about her game <laughs> We have been here for a little while now. It's actually the evening. I think Flora has finished her day at work almost. And once she does finish it, she's planning on having everyone over for her little her worker hangout, which I think is going to be in the next episode just because this one has been running for a while now. So I actually am going to have Lotus come over and I want to ask one of the grandparents to help us learn how to ride a bike or maybe Carol if Maeve and Zara have left we also have jordan over here who we do know oh yeah mave is still inside which is nice i'm gonna see if she is willing to help with his bike riding because he really wants to learn he hasn't had a chance yet because he's like dad's been so busy he just started a new job but i got a new bike and for my birthday and i really want to learn how to ride it do you know how to ride a bike grandma i really want to learn can you show me i think she'll say yes <laughs> <laughs> Leave over here. I honestly feel like he would probably just attempt to ride it on his own. I'm actually going to practice riding bike and just not have any anyone help him at the moment. But if he doesn't do very well, I think that his dad will probably take matters into his own hands and help him out. I can definitely see a bit of Flora's personality in this kid. Like, <laughs> he's pretty confident and self-assured, which is definitely a good thing if it's not hurting anyone. But we'll see how he grows up. She's stuck in the bush. She's so cute. And then we have Lotus over here who is riding around in the kitchen and Maeve's showing him. Oh gosh. Oh, they're adorable. Bear's actually left because um, he's had to be dropped off at daycare because one, unfortunately, is at work now. I'm going to have him socialize with a couple of his co-workers today. I think he is just in the mood to meet some new people after being social today. And since he is off at work, we unfortunately, I don't think he's going to be able to go over to um, his parents' house tonight as I wanted to. Unfortunately, that's okay. I guess it's going to be a different day thing. But yeah, these guys spending some time with their grandparents are having a really good time. And I'm honestly so happy for them. Alrighty, so I think we're probably just going to go ahead and end things here now. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!